Good morning. Good morning. This video is for our anniversary trip, 2015. We are, tell them where we are. We're on Tybee Island. Actually, we just left Tybee Island. We're going towards Savannah to eat breakfast. We're gonna eat breakfast at a place called the Sentient Bean, I believe it's called which is a vegetarian restaurant. Is it two miles, use the right two lanes to take the exit. It's vegetarian and vegan. Okay. We're probably gonna get tofu scramble. We're hoping for tofu scramble. Um, I don't know, I'm hoping for vegan biscuits and gravy oh, yeah. with tomatoes. Um, we're also going to go to a store because we need some rugs for the travel trailer um, and some There's other things. So, we will check in with you guys. It is 72, 73 degrees here, and it is 8 a.m. See you guys later. Bye. Okay, we are in downtown Savannah, and we are just amazed by the activity level um, in the community here. People up in the early morning running. Running, lots biking. of people. Running, biking, walking, lots of people walking their dogs. Um, the sentient being is in a, in a downtown area. So we both ordered the same thing and the whole menu was great. And so we both got vegan breakfast burritos. Looks really good, came with the salsa. And we got this um, vegan apple strudel cake for dessert, but yummy. Farmer's market. Natural market. stuff in here I've never even seen. Cool. Yeah, you're right. This thing is nice. Look. We have sandwiches. <laughs> Yay! Okay, we're definitely coming back here. A daily detox, which is delicious. I got a Peter Rabbit, which is also delicious. Um, so it is 10:22, and we ate breakfast. We went to um, an awesome health food store where we got these juices. What was the name of that health food store? Do you know? I'm not sure, but it's next to the Sentient Bean, one or two doors down, or maybe right next to it. But um. What we're noticing is that it's 1022 and now, um, you know, we had been to the farmer's market earlier and it was nice and beautiful, but now the roads are getting very crowded. Um, Turn left onto West Anderson in our, I mean, we were so happy. We got here at around 830 this morning 
now it's 10.30 and we're ready to head out um, because it's just very crowded right now and we imagine it's just gonna get more so, just a lot more traffic, a lot more people. Continue on West so Anderson's now we are headed miles. back um, toward the campground. And we're gonna get on our bikes and go to the ocean, feed the dogs, that sort of thing. of Tybee Island Social Club. We forgot to take um, a video of it, of our food, sorry. I personally thought that it was grossly overpriced for, you know, what was given and how it tasted. It was okay, Kevin thought it was pretty good, I mean, did you? it was you? good, but it was like, it was like it was missing something. So the veggie burger patty was okay. I mean, the veggie burger patty was okay. Um, we paid $2 extra to have like avocado put on our veggie burgers. It was literally probably um, a, tablespoon. a tablespoon each. We paid $2 extra for that. And the veggie burgers were $9. So that means we paid $11 for a veggie burger that did not come with a side. It was just the veggie burger. So it was, and I, I Kevin liked the bun um, because he really used to enjoy eggs. And I, I said I didn't pick up the egg. And he didn't pick up the egg, but I picked up like a, a pretty distinct like egg flavor. I can't think of the name of the bread. Is it like brioche or something? I'm not sure. I can't think of the name of the bread, but there was definitely like too much egg in the bread. Any egg is too much egg in the bread, but um, I don't know. I just detected like egg. I've never ever liked eggs, even as a child. So I can detect when there's too much like egg in a batter and stuff. But anyway, so the it came with an aioli sauce, a chipotle aioli sauce, which we didn't get. So that's why we added on the avocado um, because we were thinking that without the chipotle, chipotle aioli it would be dry so we added the avocado it was still really dry we asked for ketchup um anyway so i know veggie burgers are you know very affordable to make they gave a tiny piece of lettuce the burger was not assembled by the way so we yeah. had to add our own toppings on which is fine normally but um they did, not give enough lettuce. they did not give enough lettuce it was like one little piece of lettuce literally like the smallest like what four little slivers of onion like yeah. very one small and tomato. one like a small like not bigger than a grape size like like a slice of a cherry tomato yeah like well no what's no i'm what's sorry it? no i'm no. sorry it was a slice of aroma tomato is yeah, what it was yeah, yeah. it was That's a slice of aroma tomato and and it was just and then so the sides that we ordered we ordered one like sweet potato side and it, it was just seasoned with like clove and um what did we say clove and cinnamon i think and it had cilantro on top and i mean we're not like salt crazy people but i mean it needed some salt desperately um and then the other was another potato side and that was pretty good again needed some salt you know pretty desperately but one of them i think was like four dollars and one of them was like five dollars so basically we ordered the veggie burger that only came with the burger that was ended up being eleven dollars each because it was nine plus two dollars for the literally tiny smear of avocado and then i'm scared to even ask how much was the whole bill it was 33 it was 33 dollars which how much was breakfast at 
Um, I don't know, but I just know that our breakfast was as much food for sure at the at the bean, the sentient bean, and it was I thought much better. Oh yeah, it was way better. You thought it was better too. So anyway, would we go back there again? Probably not. No, probably oh, not. Uh -huh. um, I said that it reminds me of a place that. I mean, the decor is nice. Like, the ambiance is nice. The ambiance is nice. However, like, when you look closely, you know, it was very affordably done. I'm talking, like, you know, very affordably done um, ambiance. I mean, like, their but, son probably, <clears throat> like, some dude probably made all the tables. Yes. With two by fours and stuff. Yes. So, and then the bathroom was, to say it was dirty, that is like a giant understatement. I mean, it, it just needs, I mean, someone needs to spend quite a bit of time cleaning the bathroom. Oh, look, there's a little pit bull. I'm gonna get it on camera. Hi, little pit bull. Oh man, it looks just like Paul. Wow. We wouldn't go back. No way. So if you're desperate for a veggie burger in Tybee Island, ugh, I don't know. I'd eat at home. I, I, didn't, I didn't care for it. I really didn't care for it. I just, I didn't. And I like nice restaurants. I just didn't, I just didn't care for that. It's like, was it like, almost like, it was supposed to be like rustic elegance. Yeah. But sometimes, you know, rustic elegance, it just, I don't know, it just, I didn't like it. You gotta follow it up with a little extra lettuce. Yeah, yeah, come on, give, give a little us, more lettuce. Give us some more lettuce, some, another piece of tomato. When I was eating the sandwich, I was thinking, well, the lettuce and the onion are good. So, we both feel really, this is day two of our trip, and we both feel really sore. I have flu-like symptoms. We both have flu-like symptoms. <laughs> I hope we don't get the flu. We're really excited to go, in an hour, we're going to a Latin mass. We've never been to Latin mass before. So we're really excited for that, um, but we're both, like, we both just feel like hiding in a little nook and, like, putting sweatshirts on. Like, we're probably going to go back to the camper and just, like, close all the windows, get in bed, make it dark and cool. Dark and cool and watch some TV or watch something TV after mass. Fall asleep or something. We both just feel, like really achy. Our lower backs are killing us. Um, I keep coming back to what we ate last night. You know, we, I definitely wasn't impressed with our food. I think there was like a lot of breadcrumbs in the burger or something. And then also we ate a lot of sweets yesterday. So I'm wondering if we're having some kind of like like allergic food like candida yeah. like flare or something inflammation inflammation it feels like we have widespread <laughs> widespread inflammation <laughs> it feels like we have widespread inflammation so and i think it's from the sun too yesterday we were out in the sun like a lot riding bikes on the beach and i think we both but i had a shirt on and kevin only had a shirt off some yeah no it's kind of but I do think that that could have contributed. Yeah, I think it's multiple things here. And we didn't drink our water yesterday. We both only drank about... Like, not even a whole bottle. We both probably had about 28 ounces of water yesterday. Maybe 30 ounces of water. Now we're, like, chugging it. So, um, we're thinking about... Oh, the name of that health food store is Brighter Day. Um, we ate at... We ate at the Sentient Bean again for breakfast today. Um, like the skin on my back hurts. Like yeah. flu, like skin hurting. When I put my deodorant on this morning, um, which I made a video about that deodorant, I really like it. But when I put my deodorant on this morning, I was like, like my underarms kind of hurt. <laughs>
everybody. We are at server, right? Everybody. Hi, we're at Rivers End Campground in Tybee Island, South Carolina. Yeah, Georgia. Georgia. Let's start over. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know where we are. And <laughs> 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 I'm Room. Are you doing the plane? Come on. Okay. I have to go over and run out of battery. So okay. you say hi first because if not, it seems like you're dragging behind. All right. Hi everybody. Hi, we are in Tybee Island in Georgia. We want to review Rivers and Campground for you guys. What do you think of it here? Try to give them some pros first. Okay. It'll just be all mixed up, pros and cons all together. Okay, I guess some pros are it's got like water, electric, and sewer. The sewer's nice. Right at the campsites. Yeah, right at the campsite. You don't have to dump. And it's very quiet. Yeah, it's quiet. It was like a full house, you know, over the weekend, and it was quiet the whole time, pretty much. Um, you give a pro. Um, it is... It's close to the beach. It's close to the beach. It's two to three blocks from various beach entry points. A con is, um, it, in our opinion, it doesn't have a great place to walk your dogs. Yeah. Even if you kind of walk off the campground, there aren't really any... You know, you can't just... There's no, like, open, vacant spot for your dogs to go. They have to be, like, on a leash. Right. There's not, like, a really a wooded area or something where you can let your dogs off into. And um, we just... There are two dog parks on site. There's a 20-pound and under dog park. Okay, our phone was about to expire, so we got it quick. Right. <clears throat> um, we think that there's a dog park for larger dogs on the property, but we haven't seen it yet. Um, it's a pretty small area, and there's actually a pool here, and we haven't seen that yet either. Um, but there is a pool here. Uh, what else can you think of? It's affordable. They're Good Sam. They're affiliated with Good Sam Club, so we did save like thirty-four dollars on our. Four nights stay. Yeah, that was cool. You say four nights or five nights? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So five. Five nights stay. We stay say thirty four dollars with our Good Sam's Club, and I'll put in this video um, how much we spent per night. I can't remember off the top of my head. Okay. Yeah, I was. I don't know. It's a. It, there's not a lot of privacy here, but. Um, but yeah, it's not like a state park, like, man, it's nothing like a state park. But it's just a campground, but it's nice. It's a campground that's close to the beach, that's why we came here. They're trying, I mean, it's... Each spot has gravel. It's clean. It's clean. Um, we just don't really use the dog parks because... They're gross. We just think it's a little gross. Um, you know, to let our dogs kind of like stomp around in, like maybe feces. Yeah, a little bit like some feces residue <laughs> or something. But at the end of this video, I will um, attach some photos from around the campground. But would we come back here and stay? Probably, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, we would. Yeah. Um, the camp store is really nice. Yeah, it's got camp everything that you need. For a good price too. Like if you're thinking, oh man, I need to go get something at Walmart, and you just get it at the camp store. It's just as much or even less, oddly enough, I found. Mm -hmm. And um, the staff here doesn't, they're not intrusive. They don't really bother you or anything like that. They helped us set up and we haven't seen them since. Yeah, and honestly, it's been shocking how, um, like Kevin mentioned, it was full when we first arrived. It was shocking at how quiet it was around here. 
even during non-quiet hours. It was just a kind of quiet, you know, beach-loving group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. Everybody was just really respectful. Think of anything else? Oh, this campground is how far from Savannah? Like 30 minutes. Like It's like 20 miles or something. About 16 miles, I think it is, technically, so feels like about 30 minutes. Yeah, and it's quick. It's like an expressway, 55 miles an hour to get there. Mm -hmm. Kind of drive through like the low country area to get there. Um, can you think of anything else? Shh. Shh. Good boy. Mm, Good boy. Shh. No, not really. Okay, so we will attach some footage from around the campground. Oh, is it good bike riding around here? So far we haven't done a lot of bike riding, so we don't know yet, but it's pretty good, yeah. Pretty good bike riding around here. Yeah, it's good bike riding. Okay, so we'll attach some footage uh, from around the campground. You start, because if not, it ends like here. <laughs> All right gonna die. Alright. Be happy. I don't know what to do. Just say, just, you just greet now they're most talking. You just greet. Okay. Hey everybody. We want to show you these awesome cookies that are ten times better than we even thought they were going to be. The brand is Enjoy Life Eat Freely Soft Baked Cookies. We have Snickerdoodle and Gingerbread Spice. And they are, like I said, 10 times better than we thought they were going to be. They are vegan. They have nothing artificial. Um, we'll they're show dairy you. free, nut free, and soy free. And you would think, oh man, they're not going to taste good because of that. But it's not true. They're delicious. And we just want to show them to you. Um, here's what they look like. And they are, I have this one I'm eating right now, but... They're super fluffy and super delicious. <laughs> and those people just passed by and are probably wondering what we're talking about. <laughs> Showing a cookie to the camera. But, um, I just want to show you, they're like so soft and good. I mean, just look at that. <laughs> I mean, um, I like the snickerdoodle way better than the gingerbread spice. They had chocolate chip too. I didn't buy the chocolate chip because I thought that I would like them a lot. And um, so I try to buy cookies that I only like, like on average, like, like I try to buy cookies that I think are gonna score around a, I don't know, a six or a seven. So you don't empty the box. So I don't empty the box. In a day. Because like I've mentioned in other videos, um, it's not really good for me to have convenience foods around because I do like really like them. But anyway, so if you're looking for a vegan, non-GMO, gluten-free cookie, um, I cannot imagine... Any one that would be better than these. Right. Yeah. These are the best. Gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, enjoy life, eat freely, soft-baked cookies. So give these a try. Let me know if you've tried any of the other flavors. Um, I think at my store they only had gingerbread spice and snickerdoodle. And I got these at... I'm trying to think of where I've got these. I got these at Earth Fair. So um, let me know if you've seen them at your store um, and where else we might be able to pick them up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. What exactly are you doing here? Just get rid of my toenail. For my new water shoes. <laughs> Does that work? I got it kind of rough, but yeah, it worked. chunk off the edge. Yeah, it worked great. To the other side.
don't cut it yourself. Sweet boy. Dad's gonna be very surprised for my poop right here. Hey Conrad. Are you being a good boy? I love you, Conrad. I love you. Good boy. We'll be out in a minute, boys. So right now I'm walking to the pool. This is why I couldn't, um, well, this is why I didn't see it originally. It's kind of tucked back here. But it's a really nice pool. Here's some cabins. They're really near the pool. Here we are coming up on the dog park. It's actually quite big. It's got this power thing next to it, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm just pointing that out. Um, but it does have some stuff like this you know, in the area. But this is the dog park too. So this is for dogs 20 pounds and larger. Um, and it's really, it's nice and large. It's got that larger disposal area. Um, and we've only seen a few dogs over here. We brought our dogs here one time. It's not really our scene. Um, but it is nice that it has wood chips because um, that way when you're picking up after your pet you know you're able to just grab up some of those as well so you're minimizing the amount of bacteria over here what we're looking over to is the police station police station is really nice 